hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another video and in this playlist and this video series we are talking about mono repo and particularly we are talking about nx so uh, in the first introductory video i already talked about what all we are going to target like we will create a, we will talk about nx integrated mono repo and package based mono repo and how to work with the different projects which uh, this nx provides like nx provides a platform to build the angular application react node.js it is giving us the the overall skeleton and we can create a package based mono repos where you can have a multiple applications front and back end utility libraries and all these things inside a one single mono repo we can have like the prisma postgres all the different tools and technologies with the next js react SwellKit, all those things together as a mono repo okay so we will talk about uh, the plugin systems in the monorepo and first of all like what is nx and what is monorepo first of all what is monorepo and why we need it right so the term monorepo is kind of a misleading uh, but in principle it's like a single repository it's it gives us a single repository which contains the multiple projects those projects ideally have some kind of a relationship may or may not have some kind of a relationship so that we can reuse the functionality between those projects okay so i mean monorepo there are multiple tools available in the industry but i see when i started exploring nx nx is already more popular than any other tool and it is growing rapidly because of its plugin system because because of uh, its capabilities and all the tools it provides you can build a monorepo with the angular with the angular cli with the i mean with the angular app nextjs app react app nodejs app nestjs app or a simple TypeScript package uh, system you can build. So the officially, what is an NX? The official slogan is smart and fast extensible build system. So build system, does that mean a replacement of Webpack, Wait, SVC and Wait? Not really. It is just like a core platform. Using that, you can build a React application with a Wait plugins, right? So it provides you a multiple options. It gives you all those things handy when you are building an application. It's lightweight and it's really incremental. It uses the plugin system, which comes with very powerful. So here you can see you can build with the integrated repo, React standalone, Angular, Node.js, and all. I mean, it has a the powerful plugin system uh, which supports React.js, Nest.js, Next.js, and all these plugin systems are opinionated. Means it provides the uh, best possible user experience or developer experience when you start developing this now this is the nx and it has a nice tutorial also uh, when i was learning i was checking all these sessions like how all these things really works how we can run the different tasks which are available in all the repositories all the different packages there is like a build task and you wanted to run all of these together you can execute all these kind of tasks Apart from that, NX provides this uh, plugin system. You can see here, I can just see NX console and using that, I'm going to uh, run any kind of command. Okay. NX has NX cloud and NX provides the caching. So let's say you are doing a build across five different projects and it does the caching results of individual build. So until unless if uh, those you don't put any code or on those particular folders are not uh, updated by code then it will just use the caching results it means it will just build only those without cache which are affected otherwise it will just use the build from the cache yeah this nx offers a full spectrum allowing incremental and lightweight adoption i mean just if you go into theoretical aspects nx does a lot of things out of the box so here is like a caching code generators are there you can create a library you can create a utilities and you can create you can just execute these common tasks uh, across different repositories okay so when you create a project it will create this nx json and nx projects uses these uh, npm pnpm or yarn based workspaces okay other things we can explore through the documentation what nx provides so now if we try to just get started with this we, we can create a simple nest.js app integrated monorepo and i'm just going to create simple either you can create a next.js 
we have already covered in next next year's 13 next year's app okay i wanted to do the caching before that i should have done the nvm check that will save me if there is any failure so i should do that first okay we are good because it should be i should be using 16.8.0 so that everything goes smooth okay this will take some time before that let's take a look on to uh, the documentation part what nx monorepo provides so here package based monorepo package based where you want to have i mean it allows you to build things in on your own way and when you talk about integrated repos it it's like opinionated and it where you want to do it integrated repo when you want to have a dependencies uh, across the different libraries you wanted to use one project inside another and you won't really have a package.json individually to individual package individual folder it's like a global package.json and your individual package json will have a minimal information we will talk we are currently we are talking about uh, package based monorepo with the help of uh, nest.js so let's see yes we are done so i will open this project i think currently i am in and here is our powerful nx tools which we can use so it, it is creating this micro app and e2e app so if you look into this code these are the two applications we have i also wanted to create a angular app next.js app and node.js apps and all if you look at the package.json it contains you see an rw and nest node similarly what i want to do is i wanted to include the express dependency also because this monorepo can have express also so i have some helper commands So what these commands are doing? npm install save and rwl express nest is this is already installed. If you want to add an Angular projects, then just use this. Okay, if you want to add a React, because we need to add this capability in this mono repo to uh, create a scaffolding for the React app or for the Express app, Node.js app. All those things are possible. So now we will enable it by doing this. We can also add an express so that I can create an express app in this monorepo. And then I will just use this tool to do all this magic. And here you can see all the dependencies getting added. I can just zoom in a little bit. And then because I wanted to add these apps inside of packages, right? So what we can do is we i wanted to create these applications inside a app folder so npx because i don't have nx globally installed npx nx generate and i'm just creating a nest app next CSF. app instead of this i will just do is express express app api i will just call it something else currently we already have a you can see a simple server so it is getting created inside this server and server e to e similarly you can create another applications let's say i wanted to create angular app and i'm just putting the name ngui or maybe a client ui that's a better name or simply a client i need says routing yes all these things are yes so you can see it has created this as an angular app and all these will have these targets the build target serve target because this is angular app and we can also add uh, and how can i use i mean i'm just writing these commands but you can 
you can be a little bit smart and use this NX console and here you can use generate command and it looks like now it's working I can see all the the projects and I think now it should work yes now I already have this uh, angular application I wanted to create a storybook also that's uh, possible I think storybook configurations add storybook configuration to a project so here this is the command you can see I can copy this and npx NX. so on which project do you want to generate a storybook configuration so I want to do it on the client tab because client tab is angular so if we got the storybook also for the angular components we don't need to just worry about how to do the configurations and all but when you do it manually for angular or react projects it's a lot of effort i will say but now it is being done automatically so now i mean in the 2023 it's not about putting more efforts in putting the configurations and all it's all about putting more efforts in writing the logic instead of just looking into the configurations and uh, writing the configurations manually here i can also try to create a react app so for that let me just finish this and then we will just create another stuff generate so for react app you can do the same steps so instead of angular you can simply say is react but we need to see if we have installed this react plugin instead of this we need to check if it is already there so here it is doing the build in the nest micro app and you can also start this service available in the client app so i will just use this command i mean i can write this manually but this is more faster here it is starting the uh, the nest CS app and if I just do it for the angular app this is the client npx nx serve client it will start the angular app I mean it will do all the building and then just hosting this application on and it is faster you can see this is the st starting the angular app on port 4200 similarly uh, we can do all these commands lint lint is available on all so i think there is a command which executes this on all the projects yeah this is the run many build command so here what we can do is simply here it is running the build command i will just copy this sometimes my CLI is picking up the different node version that's why it is failing so npx so it is running the build command on all the projects we have running the build command for all the projects and affected affected means like which particular project only it will run the build command only on the affected so what it does is it is executing this nx affected target build right now we don't have really any code updated so there is no get diff migrate e2e and also you can execute e2e for the client tab let's see if i execute so i will execute npx nx e2e client e2e so what it does is it uses this browser application and cypress automation is there i think which is executing all those things we can cancel it for now it will run the browser and do the automation testing and this is the storybook it will run the storybook so from first impression it looks really nice it starts the storybook and you can see your storybook applications up and running on particular port where you can see all your reusable components whatever you have defined in for the storybook is available so you can do the test slint and all it is starting on this port for double two zero and here you can see a simple storybook component 
and let's cancel it and then lint tests and all I will just do run many lint I will copy this command and I'm executing lint so once you follow all those things you will be handy with all these commands and you can just type all these things npx nx like let's say if we do this command what we are doing is NP, uh, npx is uh, so you will just need to write nx run many and the target is this is the lint build serve whatever you wanted to run across all the packages okay so this is just introductory like how you can build a monorepo and how you can add uh, the multiple projects with the plugin systems you can add express app this is a simple express app you can see in the main.ts these are the nest.js app this is a simple storybook is also added with this angular app and this is a simple angular app app module app component this is and this is also there is some default routing available and it is lo launching this uh, default uh, welcome page this is how it is bootstrapping so when you want to plug and play with the multiple things then the monorepos are the right things you can also add a library let's say if i want to add a library so i'll just generate library create a library in monorepo creates an angular library or javascript library nest library all those things are possible or node.js library so library name is let's say uh, date helper and it is going to create you can see the the preview also it is going to generate inside the libs and buildable generate it is using going to use tsc because tsc all the other platform is also there tsc is a typescript is a compiler it is a publishable library generate a buildable library and compiler and run this so what it will do is it will just generate uh, populate this inside a lib it will take some time or was there any error i didn't see this coming up import path which uh, nodes is a valid npm package Is it asking the import path? Okay, the, here you can pass your org name. So now you can see date helper. This is your library, and you can see in the package.json. This is date helper and this is the minimum stuff will be available here and here you will write your code because it is exposing this your index.ts you can see this is your source root okay you can add uh, maybe angular library if you want through the next console generate angular library So here you can do all these things in a node.js library uh, javascript library or simply angular library uh, what is the what would you like to do this with the library just you can say utils or simply some auth library we are creating and this auth library created that is for angular purpose i mean it's just uh, you having a simple auth module common module it is angular specific similarly you can create a library for the nest.js because in nest.js you can create uh, modules similarly let's say i'm creating a logger library or database library because nest.js code and angular code looks little similar here also it is using some module you can see logger module 
okay i mean this is just like a simple demo to get you familiar this is like a package based monorepo right now there are multiple applications added a storybook front end back and everything is inside this so you can do a whole development with this monorepo